Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a salt crystal and here's an example of how it's supposed to look like by the end of the project. I hope you enjoy. Here are the materials you need. First, a cup of water, warm, any kind of salt, your choice, a pencil and string. And lastly, a cup to put the water and salt. And here's a tutorial on how to begin. As you can see, I got my cup of water, testing it if it's warm enough so the The salt will be able to dissolve, I'll pour it to the cup, then I begin to add my salt. Any salt is fine. It doesn't matter the brand. Once I have both together inside the cup, I get my spoon and stir a as much as possible so the salt will dissolve quickly. Then I get my pencil and the string and tie the string around the pencil. Then I get my spoon and try to push down the string down as much as possible so it's able to absorb. And we're set, now we just have to leave the cup on the side and wait a couple of days so the salt crystal should be forming soon. And this is how my salt crystal turned out throughout this experiment. The point of this experiment is so kids are able to understand what salt and water can do with just simple supplies around the house. This experiment is related to society because kids see sea salt crystals everywhere. For example, like it can be formed near a rock at the park or at the beach. Maybe even necklaces you see at the store that have crystals. There's so much more that kids see. The science behind salt water is hot water holds more than cold water. That's because heated water molecules move further apart, making room for more of the crystals to dissolve when no more of the solution can be dissolved. And as the solution cools, the water molecules move closer together and begins to create the crystals and builds on from there.